Yesterday, there were a couple of things that happened at the Masters that we want to talk about. One, Bryson DeChambeau, seven under, a little bit about his golf swing or his setup. What he's doing might help a lot of you, especially if you understand why he does some of it. The other thing is the wind. These guys were trying to keep the ball below the trees most of the time. So how do they do that? Take the spin off, control it, and then how do they use the wind when it's going the other direction? Don't forget to look in the description below to see how to get signed up to win a QI-10 driver. Okay, so we got first day of the Masters. Let's talk about Bryson DeChambeau's swing. Everybody, uh, they make fun of a lot of things. This guy is smart. He studied physics, he studied body mechanics, he knows a lot of really good things. One thing all of you could kind of take from what he does. When you swing a golf club, when I put it in my left hand, regardless of the angle I start here, when I swing there's a tremendous amount of force that's coming in and what it does is it does that to my left arm so it flattens the top of my left arm like that. Everybody does it. You won't see anybody at impact have an angle in their left wrist so they're just like that. And that's because you've got all of this momentum that's going that way. You're pushing away all those forces, pull this until this wrist can't go any farther. So if you start with your hands low and the club is pulling up, there's a lot of potential compensations you have to make. So what does Bryson do? First, he has big grips, which allows him to get the club in his fingers. And his hands are in maybe a little bit different position. But the most important thing, when he sets up to the ball, he sets up, it looks like his hands are really high. Well, his hands aren't really that high. His hands are just where they're gonna go when he comes back into it. So then all Bryson has to do from there is he just turns back and his wrist lever and then he turns back into the ball. So there's virtually, there, there's no upward action in his hands. So he's very stable and the face does what he wants. It doesn't twist a lot. So when you look at his swing, if you don't understand what's going on, you might think, well, that's a weird setup. Actually, biomechanically, the way he sets up the circle of his outside club and his hands and his body, those circles match really well. And there's no compensations and floating going on. He's also slowed his swing down quite a bit. He's not trying to destroy the golf course. Guess what? Seven under first round. We'll see if it holds. Watching the Masters, the wind's blowing. Now here's what these guys are gonna do. We don't have it here, but at Augusta, when you're watching on TV, you look at the tree lines, okay? These guys are looking to what the tree line is, and they're keeping the ball below the tree line. So as soon as that ball gets anything above the tree line, the wind can change directions and change in velocity quite a bit. So they're using the trees as kind of a buffer. So they're bringing the ball flight down, plus they're trying to spin it less. So how are they gonna do that? Well, let's say I've got a, normally I would be hitting a seven or a six iron. So what you'll see him do, you're gonna see a lot of guys way choke down on the club. Now what they've done is they've taken more club than normal, which is gonna take loft off the face. Then they choke it down so it won't go that far. And now they're gonna swing and just let the loft of the club bring the ball flight down. So now they're, they're not swinging as hard, so they're gonna look like they're not making big hard swings. Well, they've got a lot more clubs, so there's less loft. They choke it down and then they just make kind of like a three quarter swing, which then they can control the trajectory and the spin. Now, what's interesting, they'll do the same thing with the driver if it's into the wind or crosswinds. So they're gonna take their driver, they'll do the same thing, they'll choke it down They'll set up, they'll make a swing. And see, I brought that ball flight way down. That's launching probably at about eight or nine degrees. Now, with this club, when they get downwind, what you're gonna see them do? They get downwind on 15 or something like that. They're gonna tee the ball higher. They're gonna go way up in their stance and they're gonna launch the ball way up in the air because what can happen is they get it up in the air riding the wind over those trees. They're gonna hit some drives that are gonna be just unbelievable distance. So they're controlling the flight of the ball to have the wind help them, or they're getting the ball down where the wind doesn't affect them as much. 